two. Hey YouTube, prepared to wander down the man cave and we're gonna do a little bit of a backpack review today for you, so stick around. All right, so what I wanted to do is I wanted to show you a backpack that I just got not too long ago um, in a trade on a forum and uh, this is the Maxpedition Pygmy 2. Now, Pygmy 2 has been around for a long time. This is not a new pack for Maxpedition. This is actually now part of their legacy line and uh, it dates back years. It's been on, on the market for quite a while, but I think it's worth reviewing as a bushcraft backpack for hiking um, and for day trips. I, I think it's perfect because of the size and, and its capabilities and what you can do with it. And I want to show you what I have in mind, how I have it set up, and why I think it's such a great pack. And then you can tell me what you think. So let's take a look at it. So if you're familiar with Maxpedition, you definitely understand that these packs are made to last. They are very tough packs. And the Legacy line, which kind of started it all for Maxpedition, is uh, the top of the line stuff. The, the way they, they make these packs is just incredible. It's very well sewn. It's a 1000D Cordura for the material. You've got uh, really nice uh, fast tech buckles, YKK zippers, just quality construction throughout. And if you if you have ever had a Maxpedition product for any period of time, you'll understand that you could have a pack for years and it will still look brand new because their stuff is so tough and wears so well. Um, this pack I actually bought online used from another person um, and it looks like it has barely been put through the ringer and I've hiked with it a few times and it's it's still holding up incredibly well. Um, so let's go over the features. Uh, the first thing you notice is that the, the Pygmy 2 has water bottle pockets sewn on the outside of the pack. Now I love these because I love having water bottle pockets on the outside. That way I can access my water bottle quickly. The water bottle is not taking up a lot of ex internal room inside the backpack. It's on the outside where it belongs, where I can grab it and get to it quickly. Um, there's this Y compression strap on the front which allows you to also tuck in uh, a jacket or something of that nature, but this helps cinch down the load and control the load. You have Molly on the front, and I've got a, a little admin pouch uh, attached to the front. That way I can keep get, th get to things quickly. You got a front zipper pocket up here. Then you've got another pocket back here, which is the admin pocket which runs the length of that down to here, which is very deep. It's got pen slots, a little bit of a wider sewn slot right there. you got a slip pocket back here. Key keeper. So tons of room in that front pocket. What's interesting, below this pocket is an area with bungee cord, and this is really where you're gonna you're gonna put your bulkier items like a rolled up jacket or a tarp, maybe an umbrella, something like that. And then the bottom of the pack is rubberized, and that's what really makes this thing, I think, uh, outstanding pack for bushcrafting because this thing's gonna be able to handle the rigors of being in the woods. Um, make a great urban pack too. Don't get me wrong, uh, you can do both, but. I really like this rubberized bottom for toughness and for keeping the contents of my pack dry when I set the pack down. Then you have the main pocket, which this is this is the one feature that I absolutely think is awesome in a backpack, is when a backpack can do this. And you can open up the pack the entire way, lay it out, and see the contents inside. It makes it easy for getting in and getting stuff out quickly. Um, organizing your gear. It just makes it very efficient. Grab it and go items. Side of the pack has Molly as well. Heavy duty grab handle. As you can see that's really sewn well. Box stitching on everything. 
folded over material. This thing is never going to rip out on you. Flipping around to the shoulder straps, they are contoured and cut. So they, they fit around your shoulders. There's a nice padded material that feels good on the back. There's a little bit of padding sewn into this, so you're not going to feel the load inside of it. Of course, a sternum strap, which is really important for a backpack. And lots of length to adjust for your straps. Okay, so now we've seen kind of the features of the backpack and why the things that I like about it make it good for bushcrafting and for being outdoors for hiking and stuff like that. Now I'll kind of show you the contents. So this little admin pouch right now, I've got nothing, but this is a good place to store your wallet, your keys, get to it quickly. This front slanted pocket, I have my first aid items, so I have a small first aid kit and a tourniquet. Working with knives and stuff, I think it's important to have a tourniquet with you when you're out in the woods. I, I do a lot of solo hiking, a lot of walking around by, in the woods by myself, so having a tourniquet I think is really important. The larger admin pocket back here. I got my SE4. Got a flashlight. Gerber multi tool. compass, notepad, and my spork. Main pocket, let's open this up, lay it out. Got a folding stove. Review's going to be coming out on that soon, so look for that this weekend. Got a Snow Peak 750 uh, mug. This is titanium. It's for cooking. I just did a review on this pouch and the contents, so I'm not going to go over the contents, but I'll show you real quick what's in it. This is my Possibles pouch, or survival pouch. This has all my fire starting, shelter building, repair items in it. got a grabber blanket. I put that on the ground when I'm working with stuff or I can use it as a shelter or um, a ground cloth. I've got a poncho that turns into a tarp shelter as well. This is from Bushcraft Outfitters. I've done a review on that before. Checked in, the, in my past videos. And then of course a, a folding saw. This is the Baco. So a fair amount of gear in here. Oh, and I wanted to show you one more thing on the inside of this pack. There is a loop to hang a hydration bladder, and the bladder goes behind this pocket right here. And there's a zip pocket right in here, and a slip pouch right here. So more ways to organize your gear if you want to. That's it. I really don't have the pack loaded out. I mean, it's uh, there's a ton more room that could go. That I could put stuff in there. Um, this is just what I would take on a, dip, a typical day hike or day, day outing in the woods. Nothing overnight. There is enough supplies in here for an emergency overnight if I have to. But really, it's just for my comfort while I'm out in the woods. Um, so that's why uh, I think this is an ideal size of pack for bushcrafting. Now why I like the Pygmy 
so much for for day hikes is because of the size. It's 18 liters, uh, 1,100 cubic inches. Uh, so it's you know it's not an overly large pack. I have bigger packs, and what happens is I tend to overload them, and then I'm taking way too much stuff with me that I really don't need. As you can tell, this load is very uh, sparse. Uh, it has the necessities, but there's enough redundancy and enough equipment in here to get me through an evening if I do have to spend a night in the woods, which I don't really foresee ever happening. But, you know, that's the whole thing about being in bushcraft and hiking and stuff. You want to be prepared for the worst situation possible. And I think I have enough uh, equipment in here that will get me by. Um, but I think the size of this pack is perfect for uh, day hikes, bushcrafting, carrying your essentials with you, make a nice little hunting pack. Um, it's really well built, uh, built way better than most backpacks are on the market today. Um, you're not going to find a lot better than this. And I think this, it, I've went through a lot of different backpacks to come to the, come back to this one and I'm really enjoying using it. Um, it's worked out really well for me. Now you can tell on mine, I've done a few things. I've added different colored paracord pulls on it. This is the foliage green color. That uh, also comes in tan, black, and wolf gray. Um, I like the foliage just because it's uh, it kind of blends well with the, the woods in my area. Um, it doesn't show dirt that well. Uh, hides it pretty good. It's just an overall. It's a nice color. It works out well for me. As, al as always, please like, subscribe, and share. Make sure you follow the Facebook group and, the Inst and my Instagram page. Uh, page as well all the links are down below and as always thanks for watching and we'll see you next time on the prepared wanderer